this is a Van de Graaff generator. And what happens here is you have a belt that comes down here and is driven by a motor and it collects the electrons at the bottom and it brings it up and there's like a comb at the top. So the sphere at the top, you take all of the, it takes all of the electrons and spreads them out because they don't want to be close to each other. They want to be as far apart from each other as possible. So it spreads it equally all across the surface. So when we turn this on, it'll instantly start creating electricity and I'll be able to use my keys and hopefully it won't shock me too much to be able to see the shock next to it. So I'm gonna do it with the lights on and with the lights off. So the other reason why we're doing this with the camera so far away and me not holding the camera is because with the camera, it actually, the electricity can actually fry or the spark of it can actually fry the internal components of the cell phone. And you can actually hear the spark starting. Like you can hear that snap so that snap is the electricity. I'm gonna dangle it and then it won't hurt me as much. And I can now feel the electricity in my toes. So as you can see, when this is turned on, it's gonna get all charged up with electricity. The keys didn't actually end up touching it. So it's still got a lot of the spark in it. So if we touch it with something else, like a balloon, and I for some reason like to do this. It's just because this is a really old band graph and it doesn't work super well but this will now be charged. This is my very expensive Cheerio on a string. You do not need expensive equipment at all to see static electricity. So you can hear it again, and all the way over there, that Cheerio is being repelled. So we're gonna bring that one close. They are initially attracted, will touch, and then be repelled because now they've got the same charge. They have to get the charge first, by touching or by a spark. Now, because this Van de Graaff generator is old, it will maintain the charge for a while, but it'll dissipate after a bit. So if I bring this Cheerio, I'm trying not to touch the top of the Van de Graaff because I've been shocked by it a lot. If I bring this Cheerio next to that one, they're going to initially be attracted, and then they should also repel. Now you can see it just a little bit because they are not gaining as much charge as you'd like. So just a little bit there. So I'm gonna bring a metal rod up next to it once it's started. But I have to turn off the lights and there is no other light in this room. So it's gonna be really dark. Okay, here we go. So you can see that there's, ooh, ouch, 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 ouch. Some sparks going on, can you guys see? Ouch, the light is going on and it is ouch, ouch. Sparking me. Ouch. Oh, that was a good one. Ouch. Oh, it's sparking me as I touch the wall even. Okay, so hopefully that got on film. Okay, we're going to take a fluorescent light bulb. So we're going to charge up our Van de Graaff. And we're going to bring it close. And can you see that it's lighting up the light bulb? Ooh, shocking. Okay, we're going to have to turn off the light. And so if you bring it close, you see it? Charge of the Van de Graaff. You should be able to see the sparks coming off. They're purple in color. And when it hits the light bulb, it lights the light bulb. And hurts my fingers. Okay, let me try it with a different light bulb. So this is just your basic light bulb. Nope, that does not light up. You have to have the fluorescent light bulb. See if this one works. Oh, I can feel it down to my toes. Whoa. Down to my toes. 